the Nintendo Switch 2 is eminent. What does eminent mean anyway? It means that it could be announced at any moment. We could hear for the very first time Nintendo speak or reveal the system at any time. So with that, I want to ask you as a Nintendo fan to another, I want to ask you a favor. I want to ask you to forget everything you have ever heard from Nintendo Switch 2. I mean, forget every rumor, every spec, everything that you have heard from every content creator, everything you have read from every website, everything you think you know from the Nintendo Switch 2. This is pretty hard to do since the expectation, the excitement in the air for the system is at its most high since we are now in the year in which we feel and think we will see the next gen system. But for this video, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to ask you to forget about the screen size, forget about the resolution, forget about the upcoming games, forget about the ray tracing, 4K resolution, the dock, the handheld, the brand new Joy Cons. Forget about everything you heard about the Switch 2. And let's go back for a minute to Nintendo Switch 1. Now, this is a Nintendo Switch 2 video, but in order for us to really grasp what's about to happen, we need to go back to Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switch was launched in 2017, six and a half years ago. And when it was launched, it was a revolutionary console, one that would allow you to play handheld and in dock mode. But that's not what made it great. Yeah, it gave you the portability and it gave you the ability to play from your couch or in the car, but that's not what made it great. What made it great was the amazing titles that followed. I'm talking about Super Mario Odyssey. I am talking about Splatoon 2 and Splatoon 3. I am talking about Animal Crossing New Horizons at a time and moment in the world where we needed it the most. That game just took over. I am talking about the best selling game in Nintendo Switch history and one that refuses to leave any top 10 list on Nintendo Switch, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, a game that is over 10 years old and is still selling like crazy. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe literally just broke down every barrier. And not only that, but Nintendo extended its life and made it even more valuable with the expansion passes that they released. Now, we are on the verge of seeing every single franchise, every single game upgraded. Now, if the Nintendo Switch could take these amazing franchises like Animal Crossing, Mario Odyssey, Mario Kart, and The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and everything released on Switch, and made it great. How much more will the Switch 2 do with these amazing games? Think about how beautiful Animal Crossing looked when you first turned it on. How cute and cuddly the characters looked. Think about Mario Odyssey and its amazing mechanics and gameplay and how beautiful Mario looked that you ever think at any moment while you were playing Mario Kart that the game lacked power, that the game or the system didn't allow the, the, the game to play well, or that the system was just holding back the game from actually performing well, or did you have the best time in your life? Did you build your cart? Did you choose your character? Did you race till your heart's content? And did you have a wonderful time? And did the game look amazing? 
Now, with all this information, think about how much more a Nintendo Switch 2 could add. Forget about the specs. Forget about the 4K and everything else. If Nintendo was able to do with a seventh year console what they have done so far, including last year's Tears of the Kingdom, how much more can they do with just a little bit more power? How much more can they do with just a little bit bigger screen? How much more can they do with just a little bit better resolution? How much more can they do with just a little bit more specs, right? And I'm saying this because sometimes we lose the, the ability to see what we have and how great what we have has been and is and therefore anything that is just a little bit better than what we have which is great will only be greater i mean who cares if it's a playstation 4 power console playstation 5 power console it's going to be better and upgraded to the switch and if nintendo was able to do what they did with these amazing franchises. I mean, just think about right now the franchise that captivated you the most from the Nintendo Switch and what captivated you the most from this Nintendo console and how Nintendo and whatever third-party game was able to do this for you. Just imagine how much more and how much greater that franchise, that game, will be on Nintendo Switch 2. People wrap their, their minds around PlayStation 4 being a 10-year-old console, but look at the graphics online. Look at the graphics in this trailer from PlayStation 4. And then add AI upscaling. Add DLS 3.1 technology that we did not have 10 years ago. And then picture how great will nintendo switch games look guys i needed to make this video because it's a reflection video that has us reflect on being thankful for how amazing the nintendo switch has been for us every nintendo switch fan has just had a blast with the nintendo switch we have sold over 150 million accounts and more units to be being sold every single day and so with that i'm looking forward to nintendo switch 2 whatever it brings i know nintendo will do the right thing whatever it has i know the games will be amazing whatever comes i know that the next mario i know that the next zelda i know that the next animal crossing the next platoon the next pikmin the next metroid then every major game will look and be incredible and will captivate me once again like the nintendo switch did i'm looking forward to the nintendo switch too are you before i let you go i have two things i need to let you know number one never give up and number two journey on peace